that you, Grady? Yeah, Renfro. Come on in the house now. The family's waiting. No, I'm going to stay out here. I'm going to let them bones get me. It's me they're after. I'm the one who caused this. No, no, no. Ah, uh, Lordy, Lordy, how much longer is this curse going to be on this family? Maybe if they get me, then everybody will be okay for another 10 years. No, no, Renfro. You got it all wrong. You got it all wrong. Grady, what are you doing with that sling blade? That's the reason I want to get in the house as quick as possible. Uh, Renfro, I am scared to death. Come on, I, I, they, need, they need us inside. Now, come on, let's go. Come on. Oh, here comes Uncle Renfro. Hi, Uncle Renfro. Uncle Renfro. Renfro, you up there and between Mary Evelyn and Sarah John, up there on the couch. Yes, sir. Fader, what you doing here? Ain't this a gathering of kin, folks? I wouldn't hardly call a fourth cousin kin. Well, I tell you what, I'm planning on doing some hugging and kissing over here tonight, and if I'm getting me a drink here in just a minute, I'll do some of them more than once. All right, tell you what, though. Make me a promise, don't get too drunk, all right? What's too drunk? Can you define that? Maybell, why is that kid sleeping with a hat on? Well, she just fell asleep on the couch, and if we take it off, it'll wake her up. She got dressed for trick-or-treat. She didn't want to go to trick-or-treat, but she wanted to be dressed for trick-or-treat. Let the child sleep. Felina is very tired. Vern, where in the hell do you think you're going? I won't go to the kitchen and get a beer. Vern, you don't need another beer. That's right, Vern. I'll tell you what. If we're all alive here at 11 o'clock, we'll all have a beer with you. Well, I'm gonna go take a pee. Er, don't you talk like that in front of Cousin Maybell. Let the boy pee. Tell you what, Vern. I want you out of that bathroom in a minute and a half. You got me? Because I want you out of here before 11 o'clock. Can't nobody take a decent pee in a minute and a half. Great, it looks like you got kin folks coming. I think I do, Fanny. Wonder who it is. Well, we'll know in a minute, won't it? Probably a damn Yankee, though. <laughs> coming to a window we hadn't had it using. <laughs> yes. It is a Yankee. Sorry, I'm late. It took me forever to find this place. He's a Yankee, all right. Who is this, Frank? This is a reporter from the, the universe. Did you know the scandal sheet? Well, what are we doing with a reporter? We already have a reporter, that nice lady that reports here in town. Reporter? Oh, we had an exclusive on this. My papers played big bucks to get an exclusive on this story. Well, you pretty much have a it. Pretty much? What exactly does pretty much mean? Well, pretty much means that, uh, I'm running this show, and if you don't like it, I'll throw your butt out of here. Now, if you want to do some reporting, you sit right over there with George and start listening to what's going on, okay? It's your thing, Mr. Grady. Well, Grady, you just didn't tell me anything about it. Well, you know, I got a lot on my mind. But, well, two people can handle this. Uh... <gasps> uh, <coughs> Maybell? 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 Maybell, are you all right, Maybell? You, you okay? Uh, Vern, uh, Fainer, let's, let's give her some air. Let's let Renfro through here. Renfro, Renfro, what's wrong? Maybell, honey. What, what's the matter, Maybell, honey? What's the matter, Maybell, honey? 
Yeah. Ready for all ways? What do you think, Ray? I'm all right now. Everything's all right now. It's already 11:19. We don't have to worry anymore. Oh, thanks the Lord. Well, where's Bird? I'm looking for my buddy. I want to have another drink. Where is Bird? Mona. Good God, Mona! Mona. Mona, God, no, Mona. No, Mona, Mona, no. God, you son of a bitch! Mona's dead. Mona's dead. Why? It was horrible. It was a mess. She's dead. Oh, I thought I'd found somebody. Why? Why? Kill Becker. I'm hoping you burn it in hell. Calm down. Oh, no, no. Calm down. I couldn't find enough sheets to soak up all that blood. Oh, man. Those bones really outdid themselves that time. Poor Mona. Blood! I can't talk! I gotta get this blood off of me! Well, we gotta do something. I mean, first it was Vern and then Renfro and then oh, Sammy and Trank and then Katha and now Mona. My God! What is going on here? Well, you know, it's strange that you're fetched in all of this. I had a dream last night about Purdy Kilbeck. He came to me and he said as long as his bones were missing from his body, there would always be killing. But if we would give him back his bones, nobody else would. Die. Well, let's give him back his bones. Uh, can you get a judge authorizing us to dig him up and then we'll put, the, put his arms back in there with him? Consider it done. I'll get on it. Okay, good. Let's go. Let's dig him up. Yeah. Look here, boys. I believe I found a piece of casket down here. Like this casket. What's down Hand there? Hand me up a piece of that. What is it? What's yeah, down that's, a piece there? Of his, that's a piece off his old wooden casket. Uh. My goodness. Yeah. Hand me up another piece. There you go. Okay. Set that on over okay. there. Okay. Careful, Brady. All right. What's great. down there? Okay. Let me see down there. All right. So it looks like we found him. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Okay. Look at that, I found that old bag of bones down here. He don't look to me like he's very bad. Oh, Let me have this right here. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, I've never How seen that? anything like that. that? Oh, is you he going to hurt us? You see that? Hell, boys, I'm singing. Somebody throw me something. Hell, boys, I'm singing. Somebody throw me something. Give me, give me here. Yeah, we're going. Somebody throw me something. Give me, give me I'm afraid! Yeah. He ought not to die like That's that. That's right. I'm sure afraid! Somebody throw me something! Get those arms before he takes another pickle, and we'll put them in there. You know where they are? They're over, over by the pickup. Hurry, officer, hurry! I can't believe that! I wish you hadn't seen us, Melina. I'll tell you, did we raise Cain in school or not? <laughs> we, ra we raised Cain everywhere. <laughs> yes, sir. Good thing I got religion. I ain't gonna tell what would happen to me. You know what? We, we, we're greeting each other like we hadn't seen each other in about a year. I you, just saw this guy about, what, a week ago? Oh, we got, uh, yeah, we had some uh, Excuse me. Let yes. me introduce you to my friend, Brian. Catherine. Oh, oh hi. Yeah. Catherine? Uh, you don't uh, even get her name. I heard her name was Kath. Katha. Yeah. Okay, that's what a. I thought. Yeah. How you doing? She's Bobby? not as, uh, oh, she's just, she's kind of timid yet. Uh, <clears throat> good, good, yeah, good. She, she hasn't been around any. 
Well, it's good, good to see you. I, I, you know, uh, I was curious to know when you divorced Wilma, now what happened? Uh, did you, well, did, and I know the people were upset. Did they, did your contribution drop? Uh, well, you know how Wilma was, and everybody loved her. She had been, uh, you know, on the circuit for years. Yeah, right, right. And actually they fell a little bit when they heard about her. Yeah. Her problems, problems yeah. but uh, they love Catherine too. I mean, yeah, she, well, I, I, it looks to me like she's got a tough road to hoe. <laughs> Uh, I wanted, wanted to ask you, did you uh, did you fly in? Uh, yes, but I would have given the jet if you told me how big that airport was. <laughs> yeah, we got us a longer pasture. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is, right? Yeah. Uh, tell you what, uh, I, uh, we need to get on out there at the barn. Uh, did you take care of Tommy yet? No, Tommy. I appreciate you bringing me out. And uh, let me give you that if you'll accept that. I'd, I'd rather give it back to the church. Just donated for the church. I watch you every Sunday. Oh, yeah, well, I appreciate it, son. Isn't that nice? Yeah. And if you ever did down in Louisiana, let me know when you come in and I'll put you up first place. Well, I know Tommy. Where would you like me to put your luggage? If you don't mind, just put them over in the carport. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I know Tommy. He's a good Christian fellow. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I know there's a lot of people in this town that watches your show. Oh, re pardon the pun, religiously. <laughs> yeah, I like uh, you ready to go out? I, love, I speak for the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We got cool. it. Now here's the thing. I think it's dangerous inside the barn. I think we ought to ought to approach this thing from outside the barn. You must not know the Lord. You are. The Lord never does anything like the outside. He goes around where the heart of man is. Let's go. Let's, Let's go. It, Let's you it. want to come with us, darling? Okay. Let's go. Hey, wait for me! Yeah, if you want to see Reverend Dirty get those churches out of the barn, you better come on, boy! I want to get these spirits out of here, me and the Lord. I'm having a little problem with that camera there. It's something uh, I, to I, do with the flash. I, know, I noticed but, uh, that uh, I, I can't get the proper equipment in this town, so uh, you know I should have brought more, but I didn't think about well, it. Well, you know what? I, I noticed uh, when Maybell had her spell, mm -hmm. and uh, that you were trying to take pictures, and it kind of bothered me that the flash wasn't going off. I mean, what kind of reporter have I got here? Well, what I've done here is I've slowed my uh, speed down the shutter so I can hopefully get some images there. Uh, notice that I might be having to slow them down a bit, but I think right. I've got some good Well, uh, another thing, too, that m might be okay. Uh, there are some pictures I want you to get, and there are some that I'm reluctant to get, uh, of you to get. Like, for instance, uh, when you didn't, oh, I'm glad the camera didn't go off when you were shooting Vern, because that was a gruesome thing, and I didn't want him pictured that. So I'm glad that we that happened. Uh, anyway, uh, you got you got a question? Is there a softer side of Kappa? You know, my memory. 
grandma raised me. When she passed on a few years ago, playing the piano was the only thing that got me through. Play beautifully. Oh well. I've had to sacrifice my piano playing to have these beautiful long fingernails. You know, I bet you could tell me a whole lot about the preaching business, and my readers would be very interested. I can tell you that that little girl frightens me to death. And perhaps it is for this reason that I'd be much obliged if you would remain close by my side throughout this ordeal. What would it be for me? <laughs> I should think closeness has its own reward. I'm talking. in here. Well, sure is. <clears throat> well, uh, Joe Bob Paul said that uh, he was on his way out here. Said for not anybody to leave uh, until he got out here. Yeah, you know, Joe Bob's getting more and more like Columbo every day. Who's this young lady? I'm Kathy Gilbert. I'm the wife of the televangelist Bertie Gilbert. Oh, I see. I'm sure we can count on you for a contribution. Well, these investigations get more interesting every day. They sure are. I need to be alone with my prayers. Is there somewhere I can go to ask our Lord for guidance? Yes, Kathy, your room is ready. Thank you. I guess I'll mosey around the house a while, Grady, if you don't mind. I'm making the stairs and everything beyond the crime scene. I don't want anybody, anything up there disturbed. You know damn well you were expecting me. Anticipation and no cigar. I have a feeling that's the story of Joe Bob's life. Yeah. Ooh, wait. I've told Joe Bob time and time again. Yeah. How you doing, Taylor? I can't do that. Uh, you got here all fast, Taylor. Uh, glad you did, though. Well, I was coming down here to help him investigate. You, uh, not many left out of the station anymore. Oh, uh, no. I'm acting, I'm acting sheriff these days. <laughs> Congratulations. So, well, you know, there's nails down, down yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the dispatcher. Yeah, yeah. the dispatcher. She, she dispatched quite a few, I think. Yes, she has. I, I'm, I'm not one lucky. Oh, she but never. You, but I'm married. Oh, that's right. Uh, well, Great. let me ask you a question. Yeah. Who's that nice babe in the bed? The baby of my wife, son. Huh? I'm sorry, who are you? I'm Reverend Bertie Gilbert from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Reverend Bertie. Nice to meet you. Sorry we meet under these yeah. conditions. You know, my wife's a big fan. Sends you money every month. She was really mad at you when you divorced women. Well, that was a mistake. I hope that uh, your wife and you will forgive me and the Lord will forgive me. And if your wife's, you know, if she feels like it, if she wants to keep sending that money, I'll appreciate it. Peter, are you going to do any investigating? I don't see a reason to investigate. Looks like the curse of old Purdy. You mean Purdy Kilbaker? Yep. Uh, well, I guess that's it, then we can leave. Right. Uh, orphanage made arrangements for these children to come over and pass out candy to the patients. 
Let's just have two at a time. I don't want all these kids in here. Trick or treat. Trick or treat. Leave me alone. Just leave me alone. 